My name is Tony, owner of Junk Fit Hauling Junk Removal Service. In this video, I'm going to go over what exactly is Junk Removal Service and how we estimate our prices. Stick around and find out how I price the job in this video. I know what you're probably asking yourself. How much did I charge for this job? I'll answer that at the end of this video. The more important question is, what goes into an estimate? Well, let me tell you, most people have no clue. I get calls all the time asking if I do free trash pickups. Even if I had the cyber truck that doesn't require gas, it wouldn't be possible. Any business owner knows that we need to cover the cost of our overhead in the price of our product that we sell or the service that we provide. So what is overhead? Great question. Overhead are all the bills related to running the business that need to get paid whether we have a job on the schedule or not. The dump fees at the landfill really start to add up when you're talking about a full trailer load or more. The nearest landfill to me is 19 miles away and they charge $71 per ton. Full trailers can cost me between $275 to $350 depending on what I'm hauling. So imagine what I feel when a customer tells me that $600 is too much for a full trailer load on a job that is going to take me two hours or more don't forget about the gas, or in my case, the diesel. I spend roughly 400 on fuel per week. There are some junk haulers out there who will do the job dirt cheap, but at what cost? It doesn't add up when they're charging prices lower than what it costs to dump it at the landfill. How are they doing it? The only way is if those are the guys that are dumping up piles of trash on the side of the freeway, on the on-ramps, empty lots, behind the business buildings, and random sidewalks. Are those the type of characters you want to invite to your home? So how much did I charge for this job? The homeowner was renovating this home by himself, and he was very well aware of how much it sucks to take all this trash to the landfill. This job took me three hours. For the labor of moving all this trash into my trailer and hauling it away to the landfill, I charged this customer $800. The dump fees at the landfill were $260. My hourly overhead cost is $45, or $135 for those three hours that we worked. I paid my helper $100 for the day, and I put $65 of diesel in the tank at the end of the day. That leaves me with $240. Not bad for a hauling junk, right? I don't know about you, but in California, that isn't much. Guessing how much a load is going to weigh and how long it's going to take is the most difficult part and the most important part. There could be a ton of concrete hidden underneath a pile of light trash. And if I don't catch it, the dump fee can run past $100 over my estimate to the customer. That is not a good day for me. Going negative on a job is a real painful lesson that I had to learn in business. So if you're a junk caller and you're watching this video, please make sure you're charging enough. It can be difficult sometimes getting customers to understand that I just can't go below a certain price. I would be working for free. I just had to understand that not everyone is my customer. 
The people who are looking for my type of service are people who want an ethical business, who are clean cut, show up on time, pay attention to details so that we don't cause any damage to your property, and always sweep after every job. If you made it this far in the video, I want to thank you and ask that you subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Leave a comment down below if you've ever used junk removal service and how your experience went, whether it was good or bad. Or let me know what kind of content you'd like to see from me next.